7 p.m. Rumor was loose in the air, hunting for some neck to land on. I was hanged for living alone, for having sharp eyes and a sunburned skin, tattered skirts, few buttons, a weedy farm in my own name. Oh yes, and breasts, and a sweet pear hidden in my body. Whenever there's talk of demons, these come in handy. 8 p.m. The rope was an improvisation. With time, they'd have thought of axes. Up I go like a windfall in reverse, a blackened apple stuck back onto the tree. The men of the town stalk homeward, excited by their show of hate. Their own evil turned inside out like a glove and me wearing it. 9 p.m. The bonnets come to stare, the dark skirts also, the upturned faces in between. Mouths close so tight they're lipless. I can see down into their eye holes and nostrils. I can see their fear. Help me down? You don't dare. I might rub off on you, like soot or gossip. 10 p.m. Well, God, now that I'm up here, with maybe some time to kill, we can continue our quarrel, the one about free will. Does my twisting body spell out grace? I hurt, therefore I am. Faith, charity, and hope are three dead angels falling across the profound blank sky of your face. Twelve midnight. My throat is hot against the rope, choking off words and air. I'm reduced to knotted muscle. Blood bulges in my skull. My clenched teeth hold it in. I bite down on despair. Death sits on my shoulder like a crow, waiting for my squeezed beat of a heart to burst so he can eat my eyes. Or like a judge, muttering about punishment and licking his lips. Or like a dark angel, insidious in his glossy feathers, whispering to me to be easy on myself, to breathe out finally. Trust me, he says, caressing me. Why suffer? A temptation to sink down into these definitions, to become a martyr in reverse, or food, or trash, to give up my own words for myself, my own refusals, to give up knowing, to give up pain, to let go. 2 a.m. Out of my mouth is coming, at some distance from me, a thin gnawing sound which you could confuse with prayer, except that prayer is not constrained. Or is it, Lord? Maybe it's more like being strangled than I once thought. Maybe it's a gasp for air prayer. There is only one prayer. It is not the knees and the clean nightgown on the hooked rug. I want this, I want that. Oh, far beyond. Call it please. Call it mercy. Call it not yet, not yet, as heaven threatens to explode inwards in fire and shredded flesh and the angels call. 3 a.m. Wind seethes in the leaves around me. The tree exude night birds. Night birds yell inside my ears like stabbed hearts. My heart stutters in my fluttering cloth body. I dangle with strength going out of me. The wind seethes in my body, tattering the words. I clench my fists, hold no talisman or silver disc. My lungs flail as if drowning. I call on you as witness. I did no crime, I was born, I have born, I bear, I will be born. This is a crime I will not acknowledge. Leaves and wind hold on to me, I will not give in. 6 a.m. Sun comes up, huge and blaring, no longer a simile for God. Wrong address. I've been out there.
At the end of my rope, I testify to silence. Don't say I'm not grateful. Most will have only one death. I will have two. 8 a.m. When they came to harvest my corpse, open your mouth, close your eyes, cut my body from the rope. Surprise, surprise, I was still alive. Now I only need to look out at them through my mud-brown eyes. They see their own ill will staring them in the forehead and turn tail. Before, I was not a witch, but now I am one. Later, my body of skin waxes and wanes around my true body, a tender nimbus. I skitter over the paths and fields, mumbling to myself like crazy mouth full of juicy adjectives. Having been hanged for something I never said, I can now say anything I can say. Holiness gleams on my dirty fingers, I eat flowers and dung, two forms of the same thing, I eat mice and give thanks. Blasphemies gleam and burst in my wake like lovely bubbles. I speak in tongues, my audience is owls. My audience is God, because who the hell else could understand me? Who else has been dead twice? <laughs>